Hey everybody, Mike here at Amish Tutorials and welcome back to a new video. All right, well today we are going to talk about ramp shaders. All right, so what's a ramp shader? A ramp shader is something that you can apply in Maya to create a color gradient, like for example in these sunglasses here, okay? But there are much more things you can do with that. You know, let's say the windshield of a car or LEDs going from bright light to less bright light and so forth, okay? So uh, I'm going to explain how to apply that. All right, so we're going to set up a couple of basic objects to demonstrate. So I'll just uh, take a simple polygon plane. I'll hit R, scale it up a bit. And we don't need all these subdivisions, so we'll just do one by one. There we go. And we'll take that guy, hit Control D to duplicate, W to move over, and we'll do Shift D, Shift D, and Shift D. So we just have a few to work with, all right? Now, it's important when you apply uh, ramp shaders to make sure that your objects are UV'd properly. So with all these selected, I'm just gonna go to UV and automatic, considering that these are, you know, pretty basic, all right? So we're gonna start with object number one. If we right click and go to assign new material and we take a basic Lambert, we now have the option to go into the color section. And instead of changing the color here, we're gonna hit the checkered box and we're gonna look for ramp. So that's this guy right here. And if you go into the ramp one, in this case, a ramp one tab in the attribute editor, you can see that we have a number of settings that we can tweak. I'll just scroll that up. But most importantly, we see this bar here, okay? So what this tells us is that we have a black color in our ramp shader, and we have a white color. Now, we have the option to add more, and I'll get into that in a minute. But first of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the type of ramp shader. So I'm gonna apply the, uh, the little sphere there, so you can see the texture. And on our first square, we have a gradient going from top to bottom, where we have white and black. Now let's say I want to add an additional color. I'm just gonna click somewhere in the middle. And then if I select the top circle, I can change the color. If I select the bottom one, I'm gonna delete this one, okay? So I'll show you that. There you go, it's gone. Just click in the center to add a new one. And we're gonna click on the top circle to change the color. So once clicked, if we go down, we see this color here. And let's do, let's say red and go back. So now we have black, red, and white. And you know, you can kind of tweak that whatever way you want, okay? And you can also play with what is called the noise. Now the noise means, and I'll show you, if we take this and bump that up, it's becoming very psychedelic, as you can see, which is kind of neat because you can use that for different types of effects, let's say frosted glass or something like that. But for now, we're gonna leave that. So we're gonna take the next one and we're gonna right click, assign new material again. We'll do another Lambert and we'll plug in a ramp. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in the middle, somewhere like that. And what we're gonna do is we are going to change the ramp type. So this is a V ramp, the first one. We're gonna go to a U ramp. Now, V and U as in UV, as in the directions of your UV map, okay? So pretty much same as here, but different direction. Then the next one, right click, assign new material, Lambert, check a box, ramp. And again, we'll put this roughly in the middle and let's try a diagonal one. Okay, makes sense, right? All right, next one. And just to make things a bit more interesting, we'll go with a circular ramp this time. So we're gonna go to our option here. We're gonna select circular ramp. And again, we're gonna set this to the middle. And that's kind of neat if you, for example, have a um, polygon torus that you're using as an LED light and you want the light to go from uh, bright on the inside to less bright on the outside, something like that. You can do that. And we'll do one more. 
Lambert and we'll select our ramp and let's see what else have we got radial okay now that's kind of neat if you have let's say some sort of dial on i don't know in, in a music player or you know dvd player whatever and you have a knob where you want to have that metallic effect going around sort of so uh, yeah uh, like i said you can add multiple colors and um you can change the color and you can change the noise. So that's pretty much all there's to it. So uh, yeah, if you've got any questions, let me know. And that said, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.